Welcome back to The Flower Collectors. At the end of the last episode, Melinda went missing. Fell asleep again. So much for drawing notes by hand. I wonder where Mel went. Did Melinda leave any traces? What were they doing last night? And something is odd about the cabaret garden. Oh, I love the music. It's so groovy and like spy movie-esque. Mel comes back with more film soon. The moment she get used to something working, what is keeping her? I'll have to take notes for now. All right. Let's see. Maybe she's down there interviewing folks. <laughs> Look at those little doggy kids. They're adorable. That one looks like Mario, kind of. Surely they notice us just staring at them. What exactly is the cabaret garden? Like, is it this up here? This is just a yard, it's not really a garden. Either way, that doesn't seem like there's anything happening there yet. Aldo, sticking around. Stack chairs, close to the wall. That's what I was missing? Linda climbed the repair shop's roof. Okay. She must have used them to climb the repair shop's roof. I wonder if Marietta and Louisa know anything about that, or if they just hid inside of their place without their knowledge. That notebook looks like Mel's. Is she spying on the mechanics? Hmm. There's papers all over the place. Also, it's good to know that this is considered the garden? Which is really strange, it's just a yard. God, 
Wow, this has been very frustrating. I had to look up a uh, another Let's Play of this game just to find what the heck I'm missing. This. There's a piece of cloth on the wire fence. Did she rip her clothes? That seems really bizarre to me. Why... Why would that be there? They stacked these chairs up so that they could get up here. Their notebook is left there because they were listening in on the mechanics. And then from there, if they wanted to get down, they could have just gotten down from the front? Why would they go back to the, this yard and then climb where there's a razor wire? What? That's really strange and annoying. Oh, you're a piece of work. Hope you're all right. Beat up the waiter? They beat him down. I didn't think this was how things were done anymore. Oh no. Why would they take her away? This has to be connected to that meeting between Connor and the stranger yesterday. Damn it! Carmen must have told the Polythea about Lola's background. I wonder if Mel was right. Was there anything we could have done? The Polythea... We better be able to save Lola. Sounds like it's coming from the transmitter. search my home. They might leave a mess, but uh, I'm sure it won't be that bad. You don't understand. I've been collecting old books, poems. Yes? Of the variety that the Nationalist Party doesn't really appreciate. Really? You? This old heart has always pumped red blood. People in my day got dragged through the streets just for owning them. They couldn't take you in for possession of that. We both know the Bolivia are resisting change most of all. Owning these books is not something I would admit, unless I had no choice. I'm definitely gonna agree to help. Alright, listen. There's a small garden by the church. I bet you can put them in the bushes, pick them up when the Polythea have left. That sounds like quite a way. And I can't walk very fast. They'll spot me. 
I'll check when the officers are busy and give you a call. Wait for my signal. I'll ferry you over safely. Goodness. Suppose I have no other choice. Now would be a good time to point out a route for Doña Ana. A route. Uh, how would I do that? Oh, okay. Hide behind the tree. Great. Oh, they're awfully slow. I don't know if we're going to make it now. So I just have to... <laughs> I could just sweep my view over the entire screen. Sweep, 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 sweep. No, not that one. We're totally not going to make it. I... Are we going... Are we going between those, like, bits of... Water? I think it's supposed to be. I don't think it's supposed to be broken glass. I think it's like little pools of water. Hide behind the cafe wall. That's bizarre. Hide next to the church stairs. All right. Nearly there. From there, I can send her to the church garden. There you go. Just hide them in the sh Oh god. We're not gonna make it, are we? The Polithia are on the move. You better get back. Oh no. <laughs> you were literally there. This is a train wreck. I'm gonna restart this chapter. Okay, plenty of time this time. Thank you, my boy. I knew I could trust you. You might want to tell Eusebio. Just don't mention what you actually hid there. Good idea. I'll go right away. <laughs> Didn't know there could be this much guts left in those old bones. Looking back on it, I think the implication over here is that they climbed the fence and then got up here on the roof. I'm not sure exactly where they were when we last saw them last night. Were they were they just still escaping the cabaret? Or had they already left? Finally, tell him to stop his littering. Fuck off, Jorge. Shit, they punched him. Why are they so brutal? This isn't right.
They are going to Doña Ana. It's good that we helped him hide those books. visit, thankfully. Seems to have gone well. thought I'd root for the people on the run. But the way the Polythea are acting. What did they find? Damn. The printing Much press. Bad. Must be something interesting going on in there. Something is littering the street. Yeah, you mean all these papers? You finally noticed them? Some kind of advertisement? It's everywhere. I could ask the kids to bring me one of those pamphlets. Does it call the children? I mean, with the telephone? It's not like they have cell phones. I guess maybe it's the children we're not seeing? I need to find out the number of the phone booth first. Oh. Yes, I can make out the phone booth's number from here. Now to call the kids. Let's see. Come on, pick up. See? Hello, uh, Laura? Yeah? Who is asking, senor? This is Jorge, from the apartment upstairs. You know, the man in the wheelchair. Ah, si! Sí. Hola, Señor Jota. Did you see the policia? They went through all the houses. Also, there were a lot of papers in the streets. What's going on? <laughs> Slow down, Laura. Yes, I saw what happened. Can you grab me a copy of the Daily News? Okay, Señor Jota. And bring me one of those leaflets, will you? Will do, Señor. Thanks, kid.
Thanks, Laura. Don't trust the false promises. Have to stay united. Vote order and tradition. I don't know if you can see it, but the person on the front of that newspaper, on the ground, is... It's the fancy-suited bunny that we saw yesterday. A bunch of names and years? Why would anyone bother spreading this around? Need to make some sense of all this. What happened on the cabaret roof? Carmen was talking to a nicely dressed stranger. That did happen. The stranger was looking for a list. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Not the first one. This must Carmen be. Carmen was talking to someone who fits the description given by Aldo. It's still very vague, but could this be the same man he saw on the night of the murder? Then what did the stranger want from Carmen? That's the list. The stranger said he was looking for a list. Did he need Carmen's help in finding it? Why did the policia raid the plaza? Because pamphlets have been spread throughout the plaza. They were looking for the source of the pamphlets. But why are they so important that the Polythea would raid an entire plaza? Why'd, why did the Polythea raid the repair shop? Because of the printing press. They found the printing press. Mel has disappeared. And the Polythea. The raids today looked awfully much like... Oh... These damn painkillers. Always making me drowsy. Too tired. Need to sleep. Who's the body? Some pencil pusher. He reached out, said he had something for me. Stir up conflict and panic. It's their only cause. The tall guy. He's talking about a list. Uh, the mole had the list. That's the motive. That's why the Polythea are turning the plaza upside down. To find the list. The murderer probably took it off him, though. There's some piece here that I'm missing. Wait. This pamphlet is ordered like a list. What's going on? Names? And dates? It starts with 1974. Why does that ear ring a bell? What were you doing in 1974 and what were you doing before that year? I need a point of reference. 1972. Deep. Oops, didn't mean to skip that. More than the kids we arrested. Honestly, I... I'm not even sure some of them had any drugs to begin with. What happened in 1974? So before 1974, we worked on the Narcotics and Liquor Task Force. And sat by while cops um, planted drugs on kids. In 1974. Hey Mel, you there? 
Still nothing. I need a point of reference. I need a point of reference. Nineteen seventy four. That's when we joined that raid unit, the Flower Collectors. Mission statement was simple find leftists, revolutionaries, queer folk, and other unwanted people before they disturbed the peace, before they became a threat to our nation's unity. Find the flowers. I wonder. And Jorge was surprised that the cops still behave as they do? Why? They were one of them. And gladly took part in all of it. They should be intimately familiar with how horrible the police were. And are. <gasps> Light switch! The flower collectors. Does it, does it work? I think that turned them on. I can't tell. I had some more photos somewhere. 1947 or 48. El General was in charge already. Not too soon. That's not it. Maybe in that box. Okay, let's see how these fit in. Hmm. Not this one. Diego. Back then, we hadn't gone on any of the raids yet. If we had known about all the messed up things we'd have to do... Have to. Would we still have joined? 1972. More recruits joined the ranks. The new ones were always the rowdiest. Eager to fight. Had to tear them off a poor bastard once. Don't even know what he'd done to deserve it. 1974. We got moved to the flower collectors. The raids. The screams. The broken bones. Why did all these people have to be dragged away, beaten down? You didn't start asking that question until like four years later? Just like today. Who benefits from all this? 1975, another party, hell, the raids became parties, and no one asks any questions as long as their throat gets drenched. How is this upholding any morals? How is this protecting the people? I still had that old thing. We've seen the gun, you know we're gonna have to use it or somebody's gonna use it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just not buying that Jorge's just done a complete 180 and changed how they feel about what they did as a member of these task forces. I don't buy it. It just feels way too sudden. So many people were attacked in those raids. How did the mole get the list?
Mm, maybe when the police get ramped up recruiting? Lots of new recruits? From a party? Drunk? The mole could have gathered information at the parties, but uh, those parties were typically closed to outsiders. Can we put that back and do this instead? The mole could have gotten names off young recruits. Would those recruits really have opened up to an outsider, though? Yeah, I don't know. Can't say it's more or less likely than the party idea, though. What happened in 1974? The list's first entry is in 1974. The same year we joined the flower collectors. Could the list have anything to do with those assignments? It seems like the mole was working at the Polythea. He compiles a list of names, keeps it hidden, gets shot the moment he tries to pass it on to the press. I need to find out who those names belong to. Tomorrow. This, I think, is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. When I return, I guess we're going to continue waiting and looking for Melinda and trying to gather more information about the flower collectors in the list.